It's a squat-free cardio day with no equipment needed. Let's go. All right, killer bees, let's get moving and grooving. And that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know how sometimes that first arm circle, that first high knee, it's like, oh, have I been moving today? And yes, I actually have, but my shoulders must have stiffened up since I've been getting ready for this workout. And thank goodness, this is why we do a warm up to make sure that we are ready to work out, you guys. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B., your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body. And I tell you what, one of the ways I like to make peace with my menopausal body is by doing cardio. <laughs> But I know that not everybody loves cardio, and that's why I create workouts like today's. Today's workout is, well, it's knee friendly for sure. There's absolutely no squats. It's also joint friendly. There's absolutely no jumping. It's beginner friendly because there's no transitions up and down from the ground. And, and even though we've got some decent length intervals, honestly, this is not... This is not gonna be the sweatiest workout you've ever done. And I say that like as a compliment, I truly do. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Sometimes I know that you are looking for the sweatiest workout you've ever done. This is not that workout. Today is nice and moderate. And moderate, my friends, will get you every place you want to go. I know sometimes we feel like we have to push, 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 push. But I tell you what, at our age, at our fitness level, at our anything, honestly, no matter where you are in your fitness journey, a moderate workout always has an excellent place. A moderate workout can help you be consistent. And that, my friend, is how you get all the results you could ever want from any kind of workout. You don't get a lot of results from one workout all by itself, but when we can be consistent working out by, you know, working out moderately, not pushing ourselves too hard, then that is how we can get any kind of result that we are looking for. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes, especially if you are looking for weight loss results or body shaping results. And I say that because those are the two things that you might want out of a workout. And a moderate workout has a place in both of those programs. Make sure that you open up the description box below. I've got a free information resource that explains all about making any kind of a workout fit into your workout routine. And today's lovely, knee-friendly, beginner-friendly, weight loss-friendly, menopause-friendly cardio workout can fit anywhere. I tell you what, you guys, I've got the handy dandy gym bus here set for intervals of 20 seconds, and we're going inchworm style today, which means that we're actually gonna start off kinda easy. It's basically an extended warm up. so I'm gonna go ahead and get going with it. We're doing big arm side shuffles, and let's get moving. There it is. Big arm side shuffles means that we're making a nice big circle right in front of us while we are shuffling gently from side to side. We're not trying to do too many of these. 20 seconds is really just, it's a Goldilocks kind of interval. It is a moderate kind of interval. We're not trying to get a million reps done. 20 seconds of rest. I'm gonna kind of do some tappers. I'm just moving a little bit here. Here's the thing about inchworm style though. It's a repeating no repeat, which means that we're gonna do those big arm side shuffles again, but after we do the big arm side shuffles, we're adding a second exercise. And then we're gonna inchworm forward from there by using the second exercise plus something else. I, and it'll make much, so much more sense when we actually get going. But here's the deal. We're doing big arm side shuffles right now. When it beeps again, we're doing high hand oblique crunches. And I say that we're adding on, but honestly, we're never doing more than two exercises in a row. So when it beeps, we're doing high hand oblique crunches which means that we're gonna have our hands up overhead. We're gonna bring down one elbow at a time to our opposite knee. Now, because this is a longer work interval, you notice I didn't really go a whole lot faster. <laughs> and even though I, I had originally said that it was like an extended warm up, we never really have to go any faster than this. This is a relentless workout. Here's 20 seconds of rest. I'm gonna do some tappers. This kind of relentless inchwormy sort of a workout, honestly, it's very much like steady state cardio. We're not trying to push real hard and then rest 
and then push real hard and rest. We're just trying to keep our heart rate at about a nice moderate level the entire time. When it beeps again, we're doing those high hand oblique crunches again. Here we are. And we are inchworming forward by adding on can-cans. Now a can-can is actually kind of a similar motion here. We're gonna bring up one high knee, but then we're gonna put that foot back down and then we're gonna kick. So it's a knee and a kick on one side and a knee and a kick on the other. And you are welcome to do as much or as little with your hands as you like to. Generally speaking, I like to keep my hands right about shoulder level. The higher your hands are, the higher your heart rate goes. That is one of the best little mnemonic devices that I know to remind yourself how you can make any workout work for your fitness level. If you find your heart rate getting too high, here's 20 seconds of rest. If you find your heart rate getting too high, bring your hands down. It's really simple. You can still be moving with your feet. You could still be doing the work, but you can moderate your heart rate to make sure that you're getting your best workout. When it beeps again, we're doing those can-cans again, and then we're going to add on. So here we go with can-cans, knee and kick and knee and kick. And yes, I have to sing it like that, like in time with the beat, <laughs> even though there's no beat, unless you're listening to music. But we're going to add on windmill tap backs, which means that we are going to have our hands up again. Hands are wide, feet are wide. We're going to reach down towards our opposite foot. Now I say towards your foot because I'm getting nowhere near my foot, honestly. I'm tapping just below my knee, but the other foot is tapping backwards. What's bringing your heart rate up here, of course, is those hands above your head. So if you need to bring them down, go a little slower, totally fine. If my moderate pace, here we go with 20 seconds of rest, if my moderate pace is too moderate for you, you can always go faster too, you guys. You guys, I want you to feel empowered. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing the windmill tap backs again. I want you to always feel empowered to make every workout your own personal workout. Here we go with those windmill tap backs. You never ever have to go as fast as me or as slow as me or as deep as I go with the reach or as high as I kick with the kicks if I'm actually kicking high. When it beeps again, we're adding on skiers, by the way. Hands going up and down in front of you while feet are shuffling back and forth beside or underneath you. Not really beside you, am I right? <laughs> I was thinking about how I was gonna explain that you want to be going across your body, so whichever foot is kicking back is the opposite hand that's going up. But I was thinking about trying to say that so hard that I realized my body wasn't gonna be able to do it. Ah, <sighs> 20 seconds of rest. <laughs> and so I opted to let my body do the work and my mouth could catch up with me later. <laughs> you guys. Oh, welcome to the workout, you guys. <laughs> when it beeps again. We're going to do those skiers again and then we're adding on double knees. This is the thing about an inchworm workout. It is actually a real workout for my brain. Because it's a repeating no repeat, it's actually a truly no repeating, repeating, no repeat. <laughs> Meaning that sometimes when we do inchworm workouts, I have us come back and do the whole thing again. This is, we're only going through my list of exercises just the one time. So here we go with double knees, two hands, and then here, both your hands are up. And we're reading your knee up twice in a row on one side and then twice in a row on the other side. I can tell you already that I'm opting not to explain the exercises, but rather to simply do them. And I apologize if some of these exercises are brand new for you and you don't know what we're doing. We're 20 seconds of rest right now. This is the great thing about the repeating no repeat though, is that if I don't explain it well the first time, when we rest, kind of get our brain underneath us, then you can do it better the second time. We're doing those double knees again, of course, as the first part of the inchworm. So hands are up overhead. We're bringing one knee up two times in a row on one side and then two times in a row on the other side. When it beeps, we're doing butter churns. Speaking of mnemonic devices, when your hands are up underneath your chin, because you're going to have your hands going up and down between your chin and your waist. When your hands are up, your feet are together. When your hands are down, one foot kicks out to the side. It's as though we are churning butter, even though I have never churned butter. <laughs> I have friends who call these hee-haws because it looks like some kind of a square dancing move. And I absolutely love that thought. 20 seconds of rest. I, I, 
I am not a coordinated person. I did not enjoy physical education at all when I was a kid, ever. Picked last for every team, dropped the ball every time, couldn't run, none of it. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those butter churns again. When your hands are up, your feet are together. When your hands are down, here we go. <laughs> Foot is out. But I tell you what, in sixth grade, we took square dancing as a PE class. And I am not a, I mean, I like to dance, but I'm not good at dancing. Generally speaking, can't follow directions very quickly. And yet, for whatever reason, it was so much fun. Here's kicking, welcome to my homes. We're doing that welcome to my home that we do for our warm up. And yet, at the same time, we are simultaneously kicking you out of my home, really pulling in your core, really thinking about this motion coming from your abs while we're moving quickly to keep our heart rate up. <laughs> There's 20 seconds of rest. Whew, I always feel those twisting oblique movements when we do something where we are opening wide while kicking at the same time. When it beeps again, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna kick you out of my home while welcoming you to it. <laughs> But my friend, you're always welcome in my home when we're working out together like this. Kicking, welcome to my homes. Whew, making sure that you have pulled in your core and that you're really monitoring your heart rate. My friends, sometimes we get halfway through a workout and we decide, oh, I could totally push harder. But I will tell you, when it beeps again, we are doing toy soldiers, both hands up, reaching our opposite hand down towards our opposite kicking foot. I will tell you that there's not a lot of good to be had from starting a workout moderately and then deciding that you wanna push halfway through. If you're gonna do a moderate workout, keep it moderate, my friend. Moderation has a place in every workout routine. 20 seconds of rest. What happens to lots of us, though, is we do exactly that. We feel good, so we're like, oh, I'll go ahead and push a little bit harder. But then, but then it ends up not really being a push day and not really being a moderate day, and it's just a little bit too much. And that is unfortunately, here we go with toy soldiers, that is unfortunately the fastest way to not get results from your workout routine. And trust me, I've tried. I have absolutely tried to do the, well, I'm gonna moderate today, but then I end up pushing kind of thing. It is, it is the fast track to not doing your best. Here's a half jack. Well, your right half, your left half. Half jacks, one half of your body at a time, doing a completely non-jumping, jumping jack. When you decide to do a push day, because you are completely fine with your weight and you are working on body shaping, then my friends, you need to push the entire time. Here's 20 seconds of rest. But when you decide to do a moderate day, which is for literally everything else we do, keep it moderate. Even if it feels amazing, even if you feel great, that kind of mental toughness, that kind of sticking to your routine is more important than you realize. Here we go with those half jacks again. And when it beeps, we're gonna do punch down tap outs, which is actually a very similar foot motion, but rather than our hand going up overhead half at a time, we're gonna be punching down. Really thinking about pulling in your core for any kind of wild arm movements like we're doing here. And like when we were doing when we were punching down, but this one has the added twist in it as well. So making sure that your core is pulled in and this work is coming from your abdominals and obliques. My friend, when we work a little bit too hard all the time without really moderating, really resting, or really sometimes even really pushing 20 seconds of rest, what happens is our body gets unsure of what we're doing. When we're pushing a little bit too hard, a little bit too often, your body goes into fat storage mode. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those punch down tap outs again. And I know that no matter what your goal is, I strongly suspect, rather, I don't know, but I strongly suspect that fat storage is not your goal. <laughs> My friends, at our age, we simply do not recover from workouts the way we used to. Workouts still feel really good. We can still do all the work when it beeps again. We're doing letter K's, hands going up overhead. And once again, it's half of your body doing what is sort of a jumping jack, but not all the way down. On one side, you're forming the letter K. On the other side, you are not. But when we can still do the work and when we still feel good and want to push, your body, if it can't recover from that, fully recover from that, 
goes into fat storage mode. And once you are in fat storage mode, here's 20 seconds of rest, it's hard to get out of it with that same cycle repeating. What you need to do is moderate when you're moderating, push when you're pushing, making sure that your body has time to recover from everything you are doing. When it beeps again, we're doing those letter Ks. Again, out to the side, thinking about balance, thinking about having our core pulled in nice and tight. When it beeps, we're doing kick jacks. So our hands are going into full on jumping jack mode while one foot, I <laughs> started doing it already, while one foot is kicking forward. So we're going from this lateral movement into a forward movement. So both hands and one foot at a time, kick forward. Awesome job. All this flapping. Starting to feel it in my shoulders. Definitely feeling it in my heart and lungs. Really thinking about moderating. I feel great. I could totally go harder. I could totally push and go a little bit faster. But my friends, 20 seconds of rest. Today's a moderate day. I'm going to keep it moderate the entire time. This, this is the secret sauce. And I know that if you're new to moderation, it doesn't feel right. It feels, it feels like you're not doing enough. It feels like you could push harder, right? Yeah, you could, but you don't need to. Here we go with those kick jacks. We're pairing it this time with middle skips. Speaking of things I was not good at as a child, <laughs> but still loved to try doing. I remember, I remember, I've told this story numerous times about how when I was in kindergarten, I got a grade on whether or not I could skip and I could not. <laughs> but I loved to try. So it's your opposite hand and opposite knee. You can actually come up on one toe a little bit. You could get this one rocking or you could keep your hands lower depending on where your heart rate is and what feels moderate to you. My friends, moderate, if you're not if you're not new to it, you know what moderate feels like, 20 seconds of rest. If you are new to moderation, I will tell you, it feels like you're not doing enough. Like that's just, that, that's me being honest. It'll feel like you're not doing enough. But after your workout, you're gonna have enough energy to finish up the rest of your day. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and not be stiff and sore. Here we go with these middle skips. You are gonna be able to work out tomorrow without injury, without pushing yourself too hard. Your body, will be so grateful when you learn what moderation is. When it beeps again, we're doing reach across, which is exactly what it sounds like. So we're reaching across in front of your body while tapping that same foot out to the side, again with this lateral motion. My friends, it's cardio day, which means that we're getting our heart and lungs a great workout, but we are also working in every plane of motion. I know you've noticed this. We're reaching and kicking, 20 seconds of rest. We're reaching and kicking all over. This is work for your shoulders, which you've probably noticed. Definitely work for your abs. Absolutely work for your glutes and your legs as well. When it beeps again, we're gonna start with those reach across. And I will tell you that we're getting pretty low on my list now, which feels really fun that we've made it this far. Still moderating, still feeling good, unless today was a push for a day for you, in which case you're still pushing and you may or may not be feeling good. <laughs> That is the thing about a push day is that sometimes, sometimes by the end, you're going to be really happy for the end. When it beeps again, we're doing booty kicker elbow swings. So booty kickers, just like we did in the warm up, and your arms are swinging, or your elbows, really swinging, really thinking about pulling your elbows back, 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 using your big back muscles. If we're moving, we're toning, my friends. Even with cardio, there is benefit to be had from moving your body in different ways, using all the muscles in your body. Here's 20 seconds of rest. Check in with your heart rate. How are you doing? You can actually ch literally check in with your heart rate on your Fitbit if you're wearing one. Check and make sure that you're still moderating right now. Booty kick your elbow swings when it beeps again. Gonna pair that with dancing X's, one of my favorites, you guys. We've got lots of my favorite exercises today. When we do, when we do this many exercises in one day like this with a, a repeating, no repeat, no repeat, <laughs> I really dig deep in the bag of tricks to make sure that we're doing some fun stuff. So dancing X's, we're gonna form a big X 
with our body. Hands up wide, feet out wide, crunching in the middle. Oh, that means you're using your core. A little bit of balance work here while we're nice and sweaty, while your heart rate is up, squeezing those abs, standing on one foot and then the other. This is easier if you go faster, but since we're moderating, you probably notice how much balance work there is. 20 seconds of rest. That's the thing about moderation. There's still plenty of work to be done. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those dancing X's for the final time, and we're pairing it with ding-dongs. Again, another one of my absolute favorite exercises. I love doing cardio work, and I hope, I hope that if cardio is new to you, here we are with these dancing X's, if cardio is new to you, then I hope that this was just the right amount. Even if cardio is not new for you, if you love cardio the way I do, if you are not new to exercise or brand new to exercise, fit or unfit or anywhere in between, I always hope that you're having fun. Here we go with ding-dongs. Hands swing low, meaning not over your head, and one foot kicks out wide to the side. Awesome job knocking yourself off balance one way and then the other way really holding on to your core thinking about excellent form as we are finishing up here we're not quite finished up my friends here's 20 seconds of rest got to do those ding-dongs one more time but there's nothing that we're pairing them with this is the final inch of our inchworm our final worm of our inchworm I don't really know how you would uh, count that but this is our last cardio interval my friend this is it we're just doing the one interval and that does not mean that we should go faster because we're still moderating and by the way when we're done with this we're not quite we're not quite finished i've got one final thing for us we're going to really challenge our balance we're going to do a little star balance hold so we're going to put both hands up overhead there's no rest in between by the way when it beeps both hands going up overhead we're going to balance to one side the entire interval don't try and get over too far because you will fall we're moderating this one too moderating modifying making it happen when it beeps again we're going to do this exact same hold on the other side you're just tipped over far enough that you can recover from it that you can't well you might fall over you might i fall over sometimes too i'm definitely wobbling oh golly much more wobbly on this side <laughs> if you need something to hang on to hang on to it my friends my friends, make this workout work for you. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to beep. And then we're gonna to get to bring our heart rate down, down, down. Awesome. And you know what? I'm actually gonna keep the timer on. It's gonna keep me on task here because I like to make these cool downs very quick and efficient. I know sometimes you have done just about all the work that you've got time for with these workouts. I do wanna make sure that you cool down, but I also don't wanna take all day. If you have more time, here we go, opening it up wide and closing it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Here on screen, I do have an extended cool down for you if you would like a little bit more time to really cool down those muscles no matter what you do with the rest of your day thank you so so much for sweating with me make sure you click that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video